Hey guys, how's it going? In this video I'm going to show you how to replace the starter battery of a Lexus GS450 Hybrid. Um, it's similar with some uh, other um, Lexus cars of the same series. So how you, can, how you notice that the battery is low or dead? If you try to start the car, the car is not starting and it, you get error message in the display, a check VRGS or VGRS, something like that. It could be uh, a hint to that the battery is dead. Another thing is, um, for example, if you have the ignition on, just the ignition, your radio is not working or it's not working fine, also the, the CD is not running. But also, you can check the, the battery with a voltage um, multimeter. Now I check the voltage um, from the battery with the multimeter. So minus and plus, and you'll see we have just 10.5 more or less. I already bought uh, another battery, it's Bosch S5A05. So first of all, I disconnect the fuses of the battery, it's here. The second thing is, I unplug here on the left, there, there's um, a vent. Here we go, then I will remove this holding here, uh, 10 millimeter. Remove this screw here, and the one here in the back. Here we go. I also disconnect the temperature sensor, which is here on the left, also on the left of the battery. We need the temperature uh, temperature sensor later. Then we have um, two things left: the power connection, the minus and the plus. So first, we disconnect the minus. Always disconnect the minus first. Here we go, the minus is disconnected. Disconnect the plus here. Now I'm done. And now I put the battery out. It's very heavy, it's like 20 kilograms. Oh man. Uh, when I bought the Bosch, I took attention that the, the minus is on the left and the plus is on the right. Remove these covers. This cover here, and you see, here we go. There's the sensor, the temperature temperature sensor. Okay, here that's the temperature sensor. All right, now I'm going to connect the temperature sensor here, here on the side of the battery. I'm using for that uh, temperature tape. This tape is. Um, Resistant against high temperature. Okay, this should work out. So then I have here the vent left, and the new battery has no vent exit. So I will just put this onto the battery as well, so that this is not moving. Now the battery is fixed. I just put the fuses back into this holding. Now I'm going to check the voltage. So we have 12.4, you can see this. Now I will, I will put the covers back and we'll see us inside the car. All right, now we are back in the car and I will turn on the ignition. And uh, maybe some things have to be checked or changed. For example, we have to change the uh, mileage to the kilometers. And what I recognized at, at the first, that my CD is running. It was not running before. Let me just get through the menu. So everything is on English at the moment. So I would uh, change it to German. You have also to do some changes, I'm sure, when, the, when you change the battery. Wanna open the windows or close them? It's not working, just the driver's window. For example, the co-driver seat, um, or co-pilot seat, um, you have to put it down to the half, more or less. So when you then have done this, then you put the, the window up, put it up, and you hold it, when it's up, you hold it one more second. Now it's um, initialized again. Uh, if I try to open it with the car's uh, connection here, 
No, it's working. So this you have to do with all windows. Practically you're done for now. So you change the battery, um, you set up the, the infotainment you have and you set up the windows. Uh, I don't know if there's something else you have to do. Um, so far I think you're good. Thanks for watching. I hope I, c I was able to help you. If not, uh, just drop me a comment. A comment. I will help you out. See you.